couple of surprises. Some during the show, which means I don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> and uh, you saw a couple of those subtle things tonight. And then it's also thank you night, uh, because it's, it's the last show in a season. Well, this is a pretty special season. And, uh, sorry. I'm Batman. I'm Batman. <laughs> <laughs> 25th year, and it coincides really, really interestingly with my 30th year, and uh, and so we're wrapping this thing in a big bow. Now we don't know what the future holds, uh, but we know that there's a plan, and, and when that happens, I'm not worried about it. Things are going to be solid. Uh, but uh, God is turning a chapter in my life. And uh, so that means that in June, I have to release my children to somebody else. But that's okay. That's all right, because uh, they told me I could be part of looking for the new person. So, so I'm hoping that will be a positive thing. But anyway, this has just been exciting. I've loved this show. I've loved the story of this show. And, and uh, I had joy, lots of joy writing it. And I wonder, is Randy Fisher out there? My friend, come up here, please. So, many of these people behind you, many of these people behind you, and then I took the job over as, as a choral director in 91. He was a, an English teacher and then moved into audiovisual, did drama, and a whole bunch of other things. And about 10 years ago-ish, we decided, yep, yeah, it is 10. We decided to do more than just a simple little narration and then throw a choir in the tree with white shirts and green and red bow ties. And this thing evolved into a monster that you see behind you now. And I think, I joked, I used to joke, well, why don't you just go back? No, people would ask, why don't you just go back? And I said, because I'd be hung up by the nearest tree. Uh, because once we started this snowball rolling, uh, there was no stopping it. And the stories, if you appreciate them, I didn't do this by myself. This man wrote all of it with me. Uh, you know, somebody said, before I decided to, no, you stay put. Uh, before, I, before I decided to retire, somebody said, well, why don't you just keep writing it yourself? And I said, you know, have no idea. We feed off of each other like, like uh, I don't know, lice or uh, <laughs> leprosy. Or, we just get ideas and we feed off of one another. And, and what he says doesn't work. And I throw something in and we laugh. And what I say doesn't work. And what he throws in, we laugh. And before you know it, we've got something that works. And so I'm so grateful for him. So would you please thank him one more time? I'm not going to pull them up here because they're busy doing their job. Uh, but there's uh, two people I want to recognize because they just give every year to do this. And that's Nathan and Eric. And Na uh, Eric's right here. I'm not sure where Nathan is right now. Right there. They're right there. And they video this thing every year. They give them multiple nights to do this. Not a penny. Just because they love what's going on here. So would you thank them for my favorite <laughs> Homegrown. The thing I've heard again and again and again is, man, it's got such a community feel. It's got this feeling that you don't get when you go to another production at a bigger school or go to the Portland singing Christmas tree, which, no knock, that's an amazing production. Uh, it's, a, it's terrific, but there's this feeling that you get with this little show right here. Because and, you didn't agree there. Oh, well, it's because of you. <laughs> and by homegrown, I mean from, from the bottom up, all of our lighting. All of our sound, graduates of Malala High School that are coming back to do this job every year to make it happen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. All of you. And I have saved what I believe is the most important for the last. Um, 
You know somebody's committed when they have nothing vested in it and they do it anyway. That's Randy. You didn't have a kid in the class, you did it anyway. Okay? All these people I described, they do it even though they're, they're, not, they're getting, not getting anything out of it. And our singing Christmas tree committee, over half of the committee, hear this, doesn't even have a kid in the department. But every year, they sell their soul to this for three months so that you can benefit from what you see tonight. Okay? Amazing, amazing sacrifice. We're talking not 10 hours, not 20 hours. We're talking 100 hours each pouring into this in the last three weeks to make this set behind you. So would you please pull the committee up here with your applause right now for what they've done. Some of, these, some of these adults up here have kids in choir, some used to have kids in choir, some were my kids in choir. Um, and the brain power and the sweat and the blood and the tears sometimes that go into making this thing happen are, are all these guys right here. And uh, could not, could not in a million years happen without them. They know that, and I don't tell them enough. But, uh, and we don't tell you enough. But we are blessed beyond measure to have you guys making this thing happen. So God bless you. Thank you very, very much. Just keep clapping because I will keep clapping. So I Yes, we've got some things to say. Uh, we will keep it brief, though. As per our tradition, to show our appreciation for everything you do, we have gathered a little something contributed to a gift for you and Jeanette. We know you like to go to Cabo around Christmas time, so we wanted to, you know, give you a little something to help you out with that. We also have this custom-made light-up tree for you. We'll make sure you get later. I don't want to drop it now. Yeah, yeah. So this was custom made just for you, with you in mind. And then we also have something here for you. We've got a picture of uh, for Tim's wall, or Mr. Friesen, excuse me. <laughs> I'm old, and uh, I know him both as Mr. Friesen and you know that other name. So uh, this is the last 15 years of the alumni choir. And uh, pictures for you to hang on your wall. Mm. I was so looking forward to telling a story about 1989 when you came here to be a student teacher. I was a junior in that class. And uh, love to tell you stories about all the hazing we did, but he didn't allow that to happen, as many of you all know. <laughs> and he, has literally set, he literally set the stage for what was going to happen over the next 30 years. And so thank you for all the lives that you've affected. Thousands, thousands, literally. Us up here, the community, 30, yeah, sorry. 30 years ago we stood on the stage at Christmas time together. Here I am again, 30 years later, and thank you. It's been a privilege and an honor working with you. Thank you. Thank you.
Hi, I'm uh, I'm Tim. I'm little Tim. <laughs> this is big Tim. I'm Tim the Red. He's Tim the Wise. And, uh, I'm choir president. I'm a, yeah, I'm choir choir uh, council. <laughs> Two vice presidents. Um, uh, there's no words for it. <laughs> I don't know, it's hard. Um, so, everyone knows that Mr. Friesen has an Eminem addiction. <laughs> he doesn't like to admit it. Maybe a problem. <laughs> but this is an intervention. No, we're just feeling the addiction. We got six of these. And, uh, those should last you about a week, I think. Yeah. So I guess I can call it. Um, we got you a real nice sweatshirt. It says, the best way to spread Christmas cheer is teaching choir to everyone here. Aww. Because in, in case you didn't know, he's a choir teacher. <laughs> or something like that. Um, this is bittersweet, but I, I think we ended this on a really good note, and uh, you have spoken life to every one of us, everyone here, and like I said, words cannot describe it, and uh, I'll wait till spring to cry, and, uh, and we have a couple more gifts. So, it's 
been a wonderful evening. Thank you for spending it with us. I hope you remember it. I hope it's a positive thing for you. It sure has been for us, eh? Hey? Yeah. Hey? Yeah. 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 Greg, take it away, brother. Well, the story of Ebenezer Scrooge and Tiny Tim lives on. In fact, you can make the whole cast of a Spirit Christmas Carol part of your holiday tradition for many years to come by ordering the DVD in the foyer on your way home. Once again, from the students and community members of this, the silver anniversary of the Singing Christmas Tree, we wish you a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Good night. <laughs>